Alaska Natives and American Indians have served in the United States Army Forces in every conflict since the American Revolutionary War and in greater numbers per capita than any other ethnic group. During World War II, more than 44,000 Native Americans and Alaska Natives served in the United States military. More than 42,000 served during the Vietnam War. Today, an estimated 24,000 Native American and Alaska Native men and women are on active duty. And more than 150,000 veterans self-identify as American Indian or Alaska Native. The Navajo Code Talkers have long been recognized, as I'm sure you know, Madam President, for the crucial role they played in World War II. But until very recently, no one knew that Tlingit Code Talkers also were used during that war. The Tlingit language as a code, they used that, uh, that the enemy could never understand, they could never break that, and never crack that code. Even the families of the Tlingit Code Talkers did not know of their secret service. Because they maintained confidentiality, there may be many other code talkers out there, client code talkers, who, uh, who have yet to be identified. In November of 2013, Congress awarded silver medals posthumously to client code talkers Robert Jeff David Sr., Richard Bean Sr., George Lewis Jr., and brothers Harvey Jacobs and Mark Jacobs Jr. The Southwest Alaska Native Veterans Commander, Ozzie Sheekley, who's with us today, attended the congressional ceremony in Washington, D.C., along with representatives from 32 other tribes whose members were also code talkers. There they received the Congressional Gold Medal on behalf of the Tlingit tribe. Former House Speaker John Boehner reported at the ceremony that during the 48 hours on Iwo Jima, 800 native language battle communications were received 800 and translated. It took seconds at a time when decoding machines would have taken a half an hour. These men undoubtedly saved lives, said Representative Boehner. I'm very proud to have been asked to present this, present this information to you from a longtime friend and fellow soldier, former Representative Bill Thomas. Thank you, Madam President.